Hello, everybody. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to vectorize a drawing, uh, starting in Photoshop and then moving to Adobe Illustrator. All right, so here's what I have a quick pencil sketch, just a doodle that I made on a sheet of paper, make a drawing of a little teacup. And you can see it's got a lot of pencil marks, it's got a lot of texture, all kinds of stuff going on. So to prepare this for, um, pardon me there, there we go. I don't know why this brush tool happened. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Little glitches along the way. I'm just gonna rotate this counterclockwise and I think we're ready to go. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this is prepare this for um, sending it to Adobe Illustrator. What I wanna do is try to eliminate some of the textures and things that might cause glitches in the system. So first off, what I'm gonna do is do Command U. That will bring up hue and saturation and just simply take saturation and kick it all the way down to zero or negative 100 so that we have pretty much a black and white image. Um, next, I am going to try to select the subject. So select subject and see if we can get this to select the, uh, well, it's not too bad. You know, I think we got a little hole here, but I don't think that will matter. So what I'm going to do now is I've got the cup selected. What I'm going to do is go to select and inverse and then hit delete. It's going to ask me what the content should be. White is good. I'm going to hit OK and uh, hit Command D to deselect. And we can see that it's done a pretty good job selecting the background and dropping it out. Um, <clears throat> ultimately, it's good to you know, have a, a blank, black, uh, blank background to, um, to work with when you go to Illustrator. All right, next, I'm going to play with some contrast here. So I'm going to hit Command L for levels. And first off, I'm going to bring up some of the light tones and then bring down some of the dark tones and then bring up the lights again to try to get this to be mostly black and white. All right, that is pretty good, actually. I like that. Okay, now there is a lot of texture in here and a lot of little holes and dust and all kinds of weird stuff. So what I want to do is try to eliminate this and smooth it out. Now it's a little maybe counterintuitive, but one way that we can do this, which works pretty well, is actually to blur it out similar to a previous tutorial. Um, if you go to blur and go to Gaussian blur, um, we can change the blur status so that it just starts to merge a little bit. Okay, so you see what happens like in here where the lines kind of converge a little bit. With no blur, we can definitely see that there's a line there with a little bit more blur. We're getting the lines to converge a little bit and that will mean that we can soften the curve a little bit. So I'm just gonna make this, let's just try 10, see what that does for us. All right, it's not too bad, let's hit okay. Uh, now I, want, I do wanna sharpen this up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do next is go to levels again and I'm gonna bring the darks down. You see that things are starting to fill in and then also bring the lights up so that we're getting a sharper edge of the line. All right, this is not too bad. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I like that right there. Okay, so see, this becomes a bit more graphic in its nature. The, the sort of graininess is gone and we get a little bit more of that detail that we can imagine from a vector image. Now, a little bit of what we can do here is just simply take our paintbrush tool and play around with white and black. I've just got these set up with the white right now. I'll do some actual just kind of painting. You can also use the eraser tool, but I'm just gonna use the, the white right now. So I'm just gonna clean up a few things that I know as a vector will be difficult, like these really spiky kind of edges. Um, maybe even a little bit of this, that will be really hard to read in some of these outside parts. Okay, so just things like that, that you can kind of clean up and I'll switch to black. If you hit these double arrows, it'll switch to black and maybe fill in some of the holes that are gonna to be too tiny for um, a vinyl cutter. Certainly laser cutter could probably handle it, but you know, I think it's always better to try to get it cleaned up as much as you can. So, you know, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time right now doing this, but you get the idea. I'm gonna kind of just like go through and try to get rid of the tiny little things that could cause a little bit of trouble. All right, something like that. Okay, so something like that looks pretty good. Let's take and save this.
And let's bring this over to Illustrator. All right, what I have set up here is just a 12 by 12 at 300 PPI and uh, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna hit place, I'm gonna locate my file here. And let's just place this right here. It's humongous. So I'm gonna do command minus a few times. I'm gonna hit the direct selection tool and just grab this thing and hit shift so that it scales it appropriately and hit command zero so that I get a full frame to work with. Okay, so similar process to the previous tutorial, we are going to go to the image trace and we are now gonna keep it as black and white. Okay, and um, I think everything else is pretty good. I think we can just hit trace and see what we end up with. Okay, there it is. And now we can go to object and image trace expand. Okay, and now we have our image very well vectorized. Notice that it keeps the box around here. So I'm just gonna take my direct selection tool and just delete the anchor points around the outside because I don't really want that. You know, if I was gonna laser cut this, it wouldn't actually cut those lines on the outside. I'm gonna hit command Y so we can see what this would look like as a path and it looks, looks pretty good. There's some little things I could eventually delete out, but for now, I think it looks good. Command Y again. And uh, yeah, I think this is ready to go. So again, starting from a pencil drawing, we can get a highly unique vectorized image by using Photoshop and uh, image trace in Illustrator. All right, if you have questions, do let me know. That's all for now. Thanks.